everyone. We're out here on the driving range at Mission Inn at the 25th Anniversary ING Conference. And I was pleased to see my buddy here, Mr. Dean Jarvis. How are you doing? Oh, doing great. And happy to be here and happy to see you. Well, I tell you, we first met at one of these events. And since then, you have had quite a few events. But you're looking to do more, aren't you? Yes, uh, we're, we're having a lot of interest from athletes all around the country and, and different uh, divisions and you know the biggest hurdle right now is just finding you know sponsors to help us reach more athletes. Well I'll tell you I this was one area that I was not familiar with was not familiar with para long drive was not uh, familiar with adaptive golf didn't realize how big it really is becoming giving these athletes an opportunity to do something they may not have known they could even do and we watched some guys hit the ball a very long way. Right. Um, yeah, it, it's unbelievable. I mean, we've had multiple athletes to hit the ball over 400 yards in competition uh, and a lot of different disability types. You know, we've had a blind golfer hit it 324, a one-arm golfer with no prosthetic 333, uh, above knee amputee uh, 332. Uh, you know, 409 yards is our record at this point for a below knee amputee. Uh, paralyzed Anthony Netto, uh, his record was 297 yards before today, but at the Golf Channel Simulator down in uh, Orlando on Morning Drive this morning, he hit 303 yards. That's his new record. Wow, I bet he was excited because he gets fired up about this. Oh, he does. He, he's very excited and uh yeah, we're we're all happy that you know not only to Anthony to crack the 300 yard barrier, but to do it on the morning drive with the Golf Channel is extra special. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what, with events coming up, you do need sponsors to help you, but you guys give the sponsors so much in return. Yes. Uh, yeah, it, it's taken us a little bit to you know hold events and understand how to. Uh, you know, get sponsors' message out there that, you know, not only are they sponsoring events, but, you know, it's great athletes and just really getting their corporate message out there. All right. Well, what's the best way for folks who are interested in some of the events you guys have to offer, finding out information on how to participate or how to sponsor or just how to help in some way? Where should they go? Okay. Uh, they can go online. You can go to the website amputeelongdrivechampionship.com or paralongdrive.org. And uh, just a brief little backstory: we started as Amputee Long Drive Championship, and I, I just never dreamed that you know, paralyzed, blind, traumatic, brain injured athletes would have an interest and that's kind of how it's grown from amputee long drive to para long drive and, and we're looking to continue growing. Well, I'll tell you, uh, it still sits deep in my heart when I remember back in um, the, at the last world championship, seeing people raise those trophies over their heads, saying they were a world champion. Y'all are really making a difference in people's lives, and it's something that people are proud to be involved with. Well, thank you. Uh, it, it's really special. I mean, when I go to these events, a lot of athletes uh, I'm, I'm just in awe of, and you know, from, from that event, I remember Dave Sawtell from Australia, uh, you know, that that's what I remember most about the Paralong Drive Worlds is just how excited he was to be over here and competing. And, you know, I, I just want to see many more uh, examples of athletes uh, just thriving. Well, we're happy to help you get that message out, Dean. It's great seeing you again, and I'm seeing you seeing you hit it pretty far out there today. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> thank All you. Right.